Hello everybody and welcome to this dose of virtual vitamin Z. Um, you can see today we are at the barn with the miniature donkeys. Uh, my name is Brad, I'm an education specialist for the Detroit Zoological Society. And I'm also here with Mary, a mammal supervisor. Yeah, good morning. Um, so we are at the donkeys and um, Mary, how many donkeys does the Detroit Zoological Society care for? We have these two beautiful donkeys right in front of us. Giovanni, who is behind, and Nick Knack, who is in front. They are both 26 years old, which is absolutely amazing. They're in great shape and enjoying some mulberry and grapevine leaves this morning. So 26 is old for? 26 is pretty old for a donkey. Um, they, some of them can live a little bit older. It just kind of depends on the individual. All right. And you said Nick Knack is and in front? Nick Knack X up front and Giovanni's oh, behind. Back. Awesome. Um, and then we saw how old they are. How much do they weigh? These are miniature donkeys. These are miniature donkeys. Yep, domestic donkeys. And he weighs about 330 pounds and she weighs about 250 pounds. All right. Now, what makes them miniature? Is it their weight or their height or? Um, there are a couple different classifications, but yes, they do classify them as miniature. I believe it's around 36 inches that had mentioned um okay. donkeys can range domestic donkeys from uh, around 100 pounds to up to a thousand pounds so and we were talking about this a little bit earlier so there's lots of um domesticated donkeys have been around for a while there's wild donkeys that originated from africa yep correct yep. um and then kind of how donkeys were domesticated and bred there's different breeds kind of like horses or yep, dogs there's different dog breeds okay. yep um and then are these two related these two are not related um just the same age but they are great companions okay. for each other and they stick pretty much side by side they're very friendly with each other um sometimes they get a little bossy when they are having treats like this but as you can see this is a very copacetic friendly relationship i also have to point out that they have sheep in this yard too, Meadow yeah. and Carmela, that are also great friends and they all share this mixed species habitat. Um, and they have access to this beautiful yard and the yard next door while our horses get to frolic around in their big yard. Awesome. So Nick, Nick and Giovanni, they share the space with the sheep. They get along with the sheep too? They get along with the sheep, yep. Very good. And then they have that large yard. Well, sometimes our guests see them on the other side yes the donkeys can be in this yard or our newer north yard where the horses are seen so we have lots of flexibility within their habitat which is great for them all right oh somebody just asked derek asked what are they eating right now they are eating mulberry leaves and grapevine we also scattered some oats and some produce so they have apples and carrots um little side note fun fact about the donkeys for a special treat for them they really love the oats and sometimes even a trisket or two Ooh, <laughs> i feel that <laughs> i understand that i guess a donkey and i are more alike than we thought um do they have so they have a, do they have a favorite thing besides that or like apples they, or they carrots they really or? love that produce okay. and grain oats um we also may have tossed in some Cheerios today to enhance their habitat Ooh, and give nice. them something special and new. Um, but they, they enjoy lots of things. They also enjoy the companionship of the other animals and of our amazing keeper staff. I have to give a shout out to them of what a wonderful job they do taking care of all the animals here at the Detroit Zoo. Absolutely. Now, um, I think there's a lot of like misconceptions with, with farm animals in general. So mm -hmm. like for Nick, Nick and Giovanni, we mentioned animal care staff. Do they recognize the keepers do like yes they, they so they, they know you they do they do recognize the keeper staff um you'll tip you'll hear their loud noises of excitement when the keeper staff come around um one really awesome thing that we can do with the donkeys is take them on walks they are halter trained and we get to take them out for adventures so it's really wonderful to see the reaction of the other animals in the zoo as the donkeys come by and they get excited too so that's amazing that's pretty fun do you, do you feel like there's a certain animal that likes seeing the donkeys the most or vice versa is there 
a certain spot where they're like, oh man. I think they, they're just jazzed to get out and about and everybody's excited to see everybody. Absolutely, I, I understand that. Um, okay, so another thing about, so they, they can definitely recognize keepers. There's also misconception, uh, there's a lot of, I think the first thing we think about when we think of donkeys is that they're stubborn. Correct. Right? Would yes. you would you agree with that? Do you think Giovanni and Knickknack? I would have to say it's the total opposite. These two sweet, precious donkeys are very mild mannered. They're extremely approachable. Um, as a part of their husbandry care routine, we do footwork on them daily, and they allow us to check their feet and pick their hooves as necessary. They really love to be brushed when they're shedding their coats. So they totally blow that misconception out of the water. Of the water. They are extremely sweet and awesome to be around. That's amazing. Um, do you have like a favorite, I guess, fun fact about donkeys in general or, or these two? These two, I think for me, it's just, as you can see, up close and personal, they're just so sweet. And I've been in the yard working with them with their feet and the other donkey will come up and give you a little love brush from behind and they're just they're they're really fun and i love their noises too of excitement when you approach them and you know they're 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 great well it's called a, is it a bray yes that's a bray yep okay. it's uh, very loud very noticeable so that's pretty pretty awesome and we also have a farrier that comes out and takes care of their feet and he's great with them too and it's, it's really nice to have the complexity within the habitat to have different spaces to be in and to have different animals in the habitat. So that's a really great thing that we're able to do here at the Detroit Zoo Barn. Awesome. Uh, for people that were late joining us, I know Alex just asked what their names are. Their names are Nick Knack and, and Giovanni. Giovanni. Yep. And then right now, who's in front? This is? This is Giovanni in front. Nick Knack behind Giovanni is a little darker gray. And a little larger in the belly area for okay. sure <laughs> than Nick Mac. Um, sometimes you'll hear me yelling G or KK. We have all have lovely little nicknames names. for them. Nice. So that's how, yeah. I feel like with, with my dog at home, I've got you know he has one name, but he's got he's got a million, million names. nicknames. Yes, yeah, absolutely. For sure. Um. So let's see. Last week I talked about uh, Dozier and, and Novus, the the Belt of Galloway, and the yak mm -hmm. um do you just have a favorite story about the barn in general like you could be working with these two or just any sort of favorite oh, barn I, story i think the barn is kind of as you had mentioned it's it's a wholesome place it's some it's a place that people can relate to and that's the same thing here um and the ability to be able to teach the appropriate messages about these different species and their habitats and have people be able to have an up close experience with them is is really amazing here and the variety that we have in our barnyard too yeah i absolutely agree that's kind of that's been my my mission with these last couple bread i'm calling it bread at the barn nice we're, yeah, i we're, like it we're trying we're, we're trying to get people to really love and appreciate the barn right? i feel <laughs> yeah. like sometimes people might just skip over it but you got to come say hi to Nick, Nick, and Giovanni. Yeah, and they're very responsive too. And the one thing that I love for people to know is you're a part of their experience just as much as they are a part of your experience. Right. The different smells and the different sounds and the different child noises, all of that is something that is a part of their habitat during the day. Awesome. Precious beasts. A They're lot of, precious. A lot of people on the comments are saying they are so cute. They're so uh, cute. Oh, we couldn't agree more, right? Oh, somebody asked, how long have they been at the zoo? You said they're 26 years old. They're 26 years old. She was here in 94, and he was here in 95. Okay. And she came from Syracuse. I'm not exactly sure of his where okay. he came from. So they've been here. They've been here a while. Pretty yep. much. Long-term residents. Nice. And their eyes. You just have to look at their eyes, too. They're... they're incredible and beautiful they love to have their ears scratched it's one fun thing about them and they like to be up close and personal <laughs> awesome all right we'll see if there's any other questions but if not mary any like parting words for about the donkeys or i just want to say again thank you to our amazing zoo community and 
to everyone for coming out and celebrating and saving with us and definitely stop by the barnyard absolutely lots to lots to see here and incredibly cute animals to visit with awesome all right i'm gonna turn this around um all right so thank you everybody for joining us today for this dose of virtual vitamin z please come out check out the, the farm animals right come to the barn see nick nick and giovanni um i want to thank mary for coming out today my to, pleasure to speak with us <laughs> um for more virtual vitamin z please visit our website at detroitzoo.org otherwise we will see you guys next time take Bye. care